Whoa, textures. What are you doing? So they're all on this, this outside row here, actually. That's what it looks like. Time to lurk. All right, foo. I don't like that message. I'm not gonna delete. Okay, it gave me beta anyway. All right, good. You see that? Even though it was full, I still was able to get the beta. Because it probably gave me one beta and one alpha. Okay, that makes me feel better. I feel better now. Apparently, apparently, all right. Okay, I got beta again. I really feel like I'm missing some over here, but they seem to be just on these outside roads. I always don't trust it. I'm like, come on, there's got to be more. Yeah. All right, here we go. Again. Stop trying to scam me and scam me. E. Is that Epsilon? It's Epsilon. E. We're, we're probably below 20 now, right? Delta and Gamma. Let's see. Data. Pattern. Yeah, we're at 18. Epsilon. 18. Out of 78. <laughs> Wish I was making that up. I need 78 total. Gamma and beta. Only alphas. And we're done. Okay, again. The grind is real. <laughs> uh. Gamma. Must have been an alpha. Yeah, it's only I, I'm probably going to get to that point, too. 
Especially at this site, since I don't get the 15 second timeout. It's probably less fun to watch just doing that, though. And there's only four, so it's not that bad. Good thing this site is very, very friendly to drive around. Unlike that other place. Ugh. Man. That thing made me want to just flip my SUV permanently. There's only four here, so. And they're, they're pretty close to each other. Epsilon. There we go. There's another one. So picky about the range. Oh, good grief. Beta. That must be alpha because I'm full on alpha. I'm at uh seen a few seen a few XR dash H D eleven dash one oh two. Send a few sin if a XR dash H D eleven dash one oh two. I am at Sinifi XR dash H D eleven dash one oh two. Send it XR dash H D eleven dash one oh two XR dash H D eleven dash one oh two Got it I repeated it like that because I would need it to be repeated that many times. Hey, it put me right here. Yamites! Gamma Gamma. <laughs> the pain is real, right? I know, right, man. It's just... I can get over... The things that, I, that annoy me about the SRV mainly are just the random sliding. It seems to be very random. I don't see any kind of pattern to the sliding. And the no clipping. You just randomly no clip through stuff. And get stuck on things. That's the only thing I don't like. Everything else is okay. I mean, you could be going straight, just like riding, and all of a sudden, okay, why am I sliding? It's like you, <laughs> it just seems really random. What's up, Fugger and Anti Chibi? Welcome, guys. I am farming for some obelisk data, some Epsilon obelisk data for these new fighters that just came out in the 3.2 update of Elite Dangerous. All right, that's beta. Full, so it must be alpha. Stop. Delta and Beta. Mm. 
Beta and Gamma. Let me try something. How's the new ship? I tried it. And the only thing wrong with it is the crate. If you can understand my meaning. Let me see if it puts me right in front of this again. It's like, it's a decent ship, but I'm like, if there was nothing about it that convinced me to use it over the crate. Because I think in that situation that I, you know, that you would use it, the crate is also probably going to be better. You know, I haven't looked at the price difference. That's the only thing I didn't look at. I didn't look at the prices and all that kind of stuff. Beta. Yeah, I mean, and I like the crate a lot. So after seeing that and after using the ship, I engineered it a little bit and I, I flew it around. I didn't do any combat. I flew it around. I was like, I prefer the crate. So I'm just going to use the crate. Epsilon, woo! How many we're up to now? Epsilon hype. Pattern data epsilon. We're up to 24 out of 78. We need a total of 78, chat. And we have 24. Yeah, I'm talking about the Crusader, yeah. Yeah, the crate is king medium. I mean, Python was king medium, but crate is just so good. It's... I mean, I love the Python so much, I always, I always hesitate to say that the crate is better than the Python. But right now, I prefer to use the crate over the Python for most everything. The crate. C-R-K-R-A-I-T. Crate. Not crip. Crip. <laughs> Creeps. Not a crip. Not a crepe. Creeps are pretty good though. Got any creeps? They are delicious. I agree. And Epsilon. Woo! We got another Epsilon. Hype. Did I say crisps? Epsilon, woo! We're getting there slowly but surely. Whoa! Tank Hero! 2015, seven months in a row. Gua audience of the galaxy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Everybody shows some love in the chat. Mr. Tankero, seven months in a row. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Gua audience of the galaxy. How many epsilon you need? 70, 78. I need 78 epsilon and I need it for the new fighters that just came out. There are 26 epsilon per fighter. So I need a total of 78, and I have probably like 20, 27 or 30 now, I think. We'll check now. I think I have 30, and I need 78. You get three per scan if you get it. And uh, that's gamma, so I didn't get it that time. Um, pattern, epsilon. I have 30. Yeah, I have 30, and I need 78. Boop, 
Gamma. Exciting gameplay, chat. Oops. I haven't heard. I don't think anybody in chat has them yet. I asked. I don't, nobody spoke up. Anybody have the new fighters yet? And how are they? Delta. Hey, babe, you busy? Babe. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to follow the stream if you're enjoying yourself. I'm overdue for a break. I'm going to go get some ice for this uh, coffee that I let get cold. Um, so I'll be back in like less than three minutes. Well, actually, I'll be back in about three minutes. So thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Full? How dare you? But it gave me Epsilon. Woo! So now I have 33. I'll be right back, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks for waiting. You guys are awesome. Okay. Back to the grind again. The grind again. Got my coffee on ice. Basically just took it, put it in a mason jar with some ice. 
Let it cool off a little bit. It's a cool, refreshing drink. Nice cold coffee. And coffee doesn't go to waste. I know people that throw away coffee once it gets cold. I'm like, nah, man, get some ice cubes. Especially if you want to still drink it. Oh, that was alpha. Some ice cubes, man. Is the music playing? This is just a quiet song, I think. Yeah, it is. Indeed. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Cold coffee is nasty, though. Don't you, don't you take that back. You take that back! Beta, beta. I'm boring. I just have a water bottle of ice on my desk. Hey, man. I ain't mad at you. Oh, Chris! Hitting the button. Everybody showing some love in the chat. 23 months, one month away from two years. Boop. Thank you, buddy. How you doing, man? Could be because I generally dislike coffee. <laughs> get out of here. Get this guy out of here. With his get out of here. Cold brew is so good. It is. It is. I like cold brew. I don't understand the differences, though. People like, we cold brew our coffee in the mountains of Mount Doom and on planet Zaxlaw. Our coffee is encased in dry ice for three millennia. You know, I'm just like, what's the difference? I don't. I guess it's like beer. Hey, Annalise, thanks for the raid, buddy. How you doing? I keep mispronouncing your name. I feel so bad. It's Annalise, and I call him Annalise because I'm dumb. Thank you, man. How you doing? WoW expansion consuming your free time again? Oh, Chris. I'm sorry. You've succumbed to the WoW. <laughs> Analyze is all good. Analyze, Analyze. I am from a coffee family. Sarah, I will do. <laughs> you never broke free. Ugh. Part of me wishes I could get into WoW, but because so many people love it, and I just I can't share the love. It's like your enthusiasm is like contagious. It's like man, WoW's the WoW update's coming out. Yay! Yay, then you play it, you like, and then I play it. I'm like, right? This is awesome, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't know. It didn't click with me, man. <laughs> I wish it did, though, because too many people I know love WoW. I just can't. I tried 10 times. I'm sure they feel the same way about Elite and Warframe and stuff that I play. My enthusiasm can be contagious and they just people just don't get it. Gamma. Why was my internet drug when it came out? Then the game got easy and it got easier and easier with each expansion. Not going back to this expansion. Maybe that's what it was. Like the challenge of WoW was to me. Like raids, you know. Rush lock with auto host. Thank you so much, buddy. I think the challenge was the raids, but and and at the end of the day, they became easy, like quickly, because the mechanics were the whole thing. And, and WoW was really, it's, it's still pretty good at making, like, dungeons and and you know dungeon mechanics and that kind of stuff and raid mechanics. They're good at that stuff. It's just that once you got it, you got it. I can say the same about Final Fantasy XIV. Once you got it, you got it. You know, you go to Mythic, and then you just—it's just a matter of not getting hit. You know, not standing in the red, and and the mechanics might be a little bit harder, and you got to be super geared out to do damage on the DPS checks. And you know, it's like it's like rinse and repeat. That's why I like sandbox stuff more often because it could be a little bit more unpredictable because there's another player on the other side of that stuff. But at the same time, sandbox stuff is becoming predictable. 
Like, I'm hoping for Crowfall to be a, a difference. But it's like... That stuff has become... Gamma Obelisk is now full, too. Wow. And I got another... I got another Epsilon. Woo! I don't know, man. We used to make fun a while. I was a Final Fantasy XI player, and we used to make fun of it. How it was a lot of hand holding. Even in Wild Vanilla, we thought it was easy. Um, but that was more of a immature, elitist attitude we had in that game. Because we had Link Shell members that would leave for a while, and we used to give them a hard time. It's like, oh, the baby baby loves his wowie wowie powie. Shut up! I'm addicted. I can't stop playing. El Huapo, what's up, man? Oh, LFR, I remember that. LFR, pfft. that was a joke. It still is a joke. I don't know how that made it in that game. I was like, really? All you have to do is this, and you get gear? What? I don't know. I'm I'm at a I'm at a point now where I'm like taking a break from MMOs. It's gonna bite me again. I know it is, but I have these ups and downs where I'm like craving an MMO. I play it for a while and then I stop for a year or six months, and then I go back and you know, it's just it's sad that there's hardly any Western MMOs being made. It's like what do we got? We got um, Crowfall and the other one. Cause I've been I back Crowfall, so I'm all over Crowfall. And it's like, other than that, everything is Korean ports. It's like Eastern ports. And it's like, we haven't had a proper Western MMO since, like with a large budget, since what, ESO? Since Elder Scrolls? And it's like, you know, Wildstar tried, they tried to be hardcore. And it was too hardcore because people didn't want to do all this stuff. Epsilon, woo, we got another one. Yeah, most Western MMO makers have moved to mobile and battle royale. They follow the money. And Crowfall, I think Crowfall is being really smart. I was worried about them until they announced another Epsilon, woo. Um, that they announced that they were going to be licensing their engine to other MMO makers out there. So their sole source of revenue is not going to be the game. They're going to they're, basically the stuff they're working on now is going to be resold to somebody else to use, which is going to be a very smart thing for investors. That's probably why they're getting so much money on their on their uh, investor rounds. That's really smart. Because if the game fails, so what? You still got your. They're, they're going the epic route. We're going to license our engine per se. Um, I can't remember the name of the other game. That's like in competition with um, with uh, with Crowfall. Is it? It's from the makers of DAOC, right? I can't remember the name of it for some reason. You just got 14 inches of rain. Wow. Camelot Unchained, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Camelot Unchained. That's the one. That's looking pretty decent, too. They're taking their time with that, though. They're taking their time. They're trying to get it right, and I like that. The thing that worries me about Crowfall a little bit is that the, the large-scale fights still seem pretty janky. And if they 